Hello and welcome back to the Villainous Vampires. So, we have a few uh, event spawn troops here and we have to work out where we're going to go next. We're about just over 2,000 gold, not 2,000, just over 200 gold from getting our empire, which will be fantastic. It'll make everything so much easier because we'll be able to mobilize troops uh, much more efficiently. But, uh, in the meantime, uh, we've got this little bit of land here has just appeared. 2,000 troops, that's not too bad. We've also got this goblin horde of 1,000 troops. We could potentially take some goblin land. Now, the problem with taking goblin land is that it then becomes... None of those matter. It then becomes like a... Um, you have to eradicate the goblins, and it becomes a whole thing. And then we're also bordering the 15,000 troop people. I don't really want to deal with that. So, we could potentially attack the Ungols. We would potentially attack Imperial Midlanden, uh, Middenland, which has, uh, you know, not that many troops, but they are very large, so it'll take a long time to siege them. We could potentially attack... Actually, we can't attack Austin, we don't have a border. We could attack Hulborn up here. Um, he has some allies, but I don't know. Don't really want to attack him. We attack this guy. He's Nurgle. He has no allies. There is a chance that if we attack him, these guys would come in, which is a problem. They are very, very strong. Of course, we still got the seduction thing, which I never even tr I haven't tried yet. Uh, I don't know if we want to do that, though. We could do the seduction, try and seduce this guy. It would take a long time. That's the only thing I have a problem with. And he's constantly at, he's actually at war himself, which means we won't be able to do it. Uh, do you want to, I don't really want to stick with scholarship, though, because we're, we're not learning right now. Um, family is fine in terms of, like, if you want to get better diplomacy with all of your children. Um, business is also fine if you want to make a lot of money. Business could be very good. Um, I mean, we could go for money. War is also pretty good in terms of giving you extra troops, but we'd have to raise them in our own lands. Marshall... For hunting, yeah. Yeah, it's alright. You know, we'll take business, I think, for just now. We'll get a little bit of extra money that way. And then we'll head up here somewhere. Tavar would be great if we could actually get a way to attack into them. But they, they're they too large, I think, for our purposes. Again, the Ungols are not an awful choice. They're just annoying to attack. They do have allies, actually. They have this Jarl who has another 2,000 troops, and they have this guy who has, uh, I don't know, 740. How about you? You have no no allies, but you have a lot of troops. Uh, this could be potentially good. What kind of uh, things have we got? We got Claim Dijek, which is one province. We've got our Holy War. Now, if we claim one province, that means the other Norgals can't join in, which is definitely a positive. Uh, what about you guys? If we were to attack you, how big are you? Like, what's your other war you're in? You're fending against someone's subjugation war. Ah, that's not going to work then. Although, maybe we could... If we declared, we can unseat the other guy's stuff. So we'll head up there. What's the quickest route there? Alright, so we can transfer from that province. So we'll see what happens when we get our troops up there. Okay. I think this is the best move. If we attack there, we then go hostile with the people who are attacking him. Who are these dudes. So we have more troops than them. So we can go hostile and then take over their entire land. Yeah, that seems reasonable. People are converting to vampiric. Good, good. I like when everything is vampiric. I like the large amount of vampiric power we got up here as well. Yeah. Also, the great thing about being um, an empress like, as our level title, is that we can have, have, um, the kings underneath us will all be converting, and then the dukes underneath them will be converting, and then the counts underneath the dukes will be converting, and you just get this great converting kind of, uh, mill where you can just convert everything really, really, really quickly. Anyway. Uh, what are we currently doing with our priest? Cultural tech? Yeah. Oh, I'm... I guess, uh, I was just looking at it there, I guess the uh, charity event that I always go for is actually a Game of Thrones mod, uh, you know, exclusive. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I was I was going to switch to that, but I guess we don't have that as an option. Okay, fine. Let's head up. We're almost there. 
Uh, someone created a duchy of Dobron. Interesting. Uh, who can we righteously imprison? Ooh, we righteously imprison the Duke of Dobron. Because he's trying to kill Count Gavril Polosk. We don't have a good chance, and I don't really want... Wait, where is... Where's his capital? Uh, it's not de jure. Um, that is your capital right there? Okay. So we could put... That's not your capital. Um... If I go to... Alright, there it is. It's down here. So we could potentially go and sit on it. The problem is we have to siege it if, if like, we fail. If we had, like, a good chance of imprisoning him, I'd be all for it. But it's, like, one in four. Then we have to siege it down. Then we have to uh, sacrifice him. Then his child doesn't like us. Then we have revolts. And it's, like, whatever. I'm just... We'll, we'll just stick with our army. Right, I want to attack you. Uh, do I do a holy war? Northern gods. Northern gods are... You are also northern gods, but you don't provide that many men. Not that... Nobody else is really northern gods around here. Okay, so we could do that. We could do our holy war. For Hulbjorn. For Apona. Apona, definitely. Aponia? Anyway, we'll attack in here. Uh, we don't have any allies we can call in. Uh, we should raise at least the men from this province, at the very, very least. There we go. Uh, some vassals don't like that we've raised the men for too long, so we'll leave it for just now. And... Let's wait till we actually get in here. Longest movement phase ever. Let's do a tithe. Fantastic. Uh, important decisions. Cast magic. No, but we can. Once we get our morale up. I'm waiting for a morale tick before I do this. Wow, that, that was... A pathetic morale tick. But we can't assault these holdings. Which means that we have a chance of getting prisoners. No prisoners. God damn it. Right. Next province. It's like, chance of prisoners? Nope. Never a chance of prisoners. Uh, if you want to attack 44 men into my men, feel free. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're trying to run now. I think that we might catch them. There we go. We calm. Right. Uh, important decisions. Don't want to do that. We could assault down. It's actually close, but we, it's 11% every 12 days. It's not worth assaulting. It's only going to take uh, 100 days. It's not too bad. Overall, it's not too bad. And we'll just siege this one down. That should give us a 100% war score. And then we can peace out. Oh my god, they all became this other dude's land. I hate it so much. Right. How did he win that war? He didn't have all the war score. I also thought I was going to be hostile with him. We should we could just attack this guy. I mean, he's North Scan gods, which have a few more. I see have no more allies. Uh, Seven hundred, couple thousand. Yeah, we can attack these guys. Definitely, we can attack these guys. And for the land that we just got back, like for the land that we just besieged, there we will. We can't declare war. We've raised army levies, of course. Uh, I guess we'll head over here. We'll get rid of our war people. Also, whose army is this? Like, what? what is this? This this is a non-raiding army who is hostile to us. Okay, fine. They're going to get killed if they stay there. Yes. That makes me feel a little bit better. Rassle levies down. Declare the war. For Apona. Or Ponia. We'll then raise up the troops in this land. And we will merge and we will move. Anyone else we want to we want to raise up? Probably Tosol's troops as well. Grab them in. Maybe Zaya's troops. How's he feeling about us? He still reasonably likes us. We'll raise his troops up. And they can kind of head over as well. That should be enough. Oh, we will definitely kill that five-man army that they just raised up. Goodbye, army. Uh, you will not be missed. Right. We'll now assault this down because there's no reason not to assault this down. Pretty much. 
We lose some men, but we, we get it. And there's a chance of prisoners. No prisoners. Assault the next one. Apparently, just nobody lives in these provinces. I, I, I forgot. These are actually the barren lands. Anyone else join this war yet? The Ever Thunder. Hey, it's 3,000 troops. That's reasonable. We'll wait for our armies to merge, and then we'll move on to the next province. Almost there. Um... I think I just want to go for the attack, actually, and then we'll move in this army behind to reinforce. Are we going to catch them? 22nd, 17th? No. But we will be able to see what's going on in the next province very soon. Also, if we can get into this, like, these three bits of land, that gives us a lot more people we can attack. So it's really worth it if we can win this war. That lets us out of our current kind of hole. Really, what we want to do is we want to get into the kind of juicy center up here with all these one province people. Although, it looks like some other people have broken them up already, so. Are you going to catch me? Um, okay. Auto save taking a very long time. Are you going to catch me? I say again. Uh, 25th. We move this army back in. Like, it's going to join in. Will this army back down? Yes, it will. Okay. So we just need to wait till the 11th. Well, we'll wait till the 10th. And then they'll merge back up. Cool. Uh, what's our percentage? It's 10% every 12 days. Oh, we'll definitely do this. Um, friends had a good time together, so they've become friends as well. Good. And we'll siege it down. It's uh, going reasonably quickly. We're almost over money as well, which would be nice. Yep. If they're just going to sit in this province, I'm happy to let them just sit in this province. Right next to us. Um, how long does it take us to get there? 18... Uh, we'll, we'll get there first. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll attack in. I don't want them to unseige our previously sieged land. It doesn't seem like it's going to take too long to actually siege the bit up here, so... Let's uh, murder them uh, severely. Cast magic, definitely. We'll do some Wind of Undeath. Uh, we'll also do some Curse of Years and some Raised Dead. I don't know why I keep clicking on that every time. The thing's open. I don't know. Right. Uh, and now they're all dead. Yep. Very, very simple. Goodbye. We'll go and attack their army again. We'll just switch back around to their capital once we finished it. That's probably where they'll retreat to anyway. I think this is their capital anyway. Um, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Is he still a count level? Yeah, he's still count level. So that is his capital. It's just, uh, he should have a larger, uh, icon. But, because of the amount of land he has, he should be at least duke level. But, he's still a count level. He's just a four province count. Okay. Back up to, uh, I see. How many men does this one have? This one looks much easier to attack. It has no levy. Yeah, we'll just take that and siege it. Like that seems uh, more logical to me. Also, chance of prisoners, which is something we're just missing out on entirely. Now, usually, you have more prisoners than you know what to deal, like you know what to do with. But here, it's like, nah, not that many prisoners. So, if I was to cast magic here, I want to try this again. If I was to cast this wind of undeath, it does give us the troops temporarily. So we could use them for assaulting. Even if they would disappear instantly, we can use them for assaulting. Aha. Uh -huh. Assault. There we go. That works for me. How about this province? How many... I say, we'll just use the last province in our um, one that we're meant to. Like, uh, in our war goal. That'll work. There we go. Also, any prisoners? No prisoners from this uh, from the assaulting. Okay. Fine, fine. Maybe they just don't have that many people in their courts. Therefore, you can't capture them because, like, maybe there's a random chance per person in their court, and if their courts aren't very large, then their chance becomes not very large. I don't know. 
9.3% every 12 days. Let's kind of chill out here. Uh, I think we want to kill their army, actually. Can we catch them? But the fifth... No. What if we move here? Can we get them to back off? We can. Then we can attack in. And will that allow us to actually kill them? Should. We are attacking into forest, but this is fine. 17th, we'll get there on the 12th. Yeah, they're running, which means that we are, we're going to win this war right here. Probably. There we go. Oh, they don't even have full flank. Yeah, that's not good. Cast of magic. Wind of undeath. That's why I do it, because I accidentally kicked lick on the province afterwards. Right, uh, and raise dead. There we go. Uh, we spotted an enemy we're facing. He's personal combat skill one, so we'll just keep we'll just destroy him easily. Uh, attack, I guess. We'll just go attack. Yes, he's dead. Cool. Uh, ooh, what's this? As the enemy scurries away from the battlefield, like frightened rabbits, you wipe off uh, the sweat from your brow and watch in silence. Cool. Got some more prestige. Wait, where did their army go? Did that army become neutral because we killed their leader? And that I think the army became neutral because we killed their leader and broke the alliance, thereby taking them out of the war. That's what I think just happened there. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, I think that is exactly what just happened there. I, I can't help but feel a little bit cheated. You know, just a little bit cheated out of that uh, war. Oh, they're attacking into us. Stern's Ridge. Um, I think we can take it. Yeah, they don't have people on all their flanks. Okay. Wind of Undeath. Um, Curse of Years. Raise Dead. There we go. And we should destroy them because they don't have men on all their flanks. Yeah. Flanking bonus is really, really high, basically. 100%. We captured Jarl of uh, the Ever Thunder. Perfect. Uh, we will enforce our demands. Look at all that lovely new land. Boluscrad now even goes over other people's land just to uh, assert his dominance. We will mark a few of these as. Uh... Oh, right. I was like, giving them away, but I guess those are all we can give. Let's uh, we'll disband our vassal troops, and we can also give away all of this. Is this all part of a duchy? The duchy of Aponia. Now, what we could do is we could also. I just noticed that Tivar also extends over here. That's really annoying. This got like a green blob blocking everything. Uh, we could create this. It would cost us a hundred of our gold. We would slow down our empire. We won't do that just yet. Then we will give away a couple of our. We will give away the tribal holdings. I'm just resetting the list. Man, not in prison, uh, not married, not a ruler. Yes, an adult, not a great house. My culture group, my religion group. And uh, we'll just see if we've got any really high ones. I guess we'll go for the stewardship guy can have the... Not that one. This one, Stirs Ridge. This diplomacy guy can have... Blent. And uh, we had a martial guy. This guy can have this one. Cool. Everyone's fine with us. We can go disband our men very soon. There we go. We'll disband all of our uh, castle troops there. And then we'll take pick the ambition to win a war. Like that ambition. And then we're just going to wait for uh, about another... 34 gold. Then we'll go and create our uh, lovely, lovely looking empire. And maybe we'll even uh, do some empire management. We just need to wait for it to actually go through. Yeah. How much gold are we gaining per month? Just five gold a month? It's not going to take too long. Especially if we get a tithe or something. That'd be nice. Hopefully we don't get any loose gold events. That would uh, slow it down an awful lot. Yeah, I'm happy to just sit up here and wait for our uh, retinue to reinforce, to be honest. It's, uh, 
Yeah, it's fine. Some sieges are finishing. People are being looted, not us, luckily. Uh, now we have a righteous imprisonment here, but we... I'll, what happened to our prisoner? We had the Ever... Whatever his name was. The Ever Thunder. Um, I have no idea where he went. Maybe we took his land? That doesn't seem right. I don't think we took his land. Maybe someone else took his land. We should still have him as a prisoner. I think prisoners might be bugged. Like, we keep losing prisoners who we should keep. Or maybe that was, or maybe he was worth four score. Because if he's worth four score, you have to, like, just chuck him back. Even though we already had, like, 100% war score without him. Yeah, whatever. We'll keep getting our money. Also, it shows, that war there shows that we can beat the Norskan Gods Alliance that we've got. So we can maybe attack these guys. Oh, they're no, like, uh, these guys. Hulborn. Uh, they have a lot of potential allies, though, so we don't want to do that because they're all the same dynasty. Which is a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. I like that Tivar is getting some small revolts and we could maybe get in there and attack soon. Like, um, I would very much like to attack them right after we create our empire, actually. So we'll just move one province over. Uh, we're quite close to getting our money. Just another four months. Not too bad. Let the auto saves go through. We also get a lot of prestige from doing this, which uh, is nice. The prestige bonus is nice. I think we might even be at max prestige bonus. I can check that for vassals. Uh, prestige plus 20. Yeah, I think plus 20 is the max. I think it might have used to... Actually, yeah, I think plus 20 is the max. I think they have to in uh, Conclave. They have, uh, they have to a whole bunch of stuff in Conclave. And they just uh, nerfed pretty much every good uh, opinion bonus. Or some, at least that's what's in the patch notes. But I haven't really noticed much difference when playing on the other patch to this patch. Like, is, the patch notes made it seem like it was going to be huge and massive. And it's like, yeah, it's about even. Maybe I just haven't played enough conquesting on the other patch. Thank God, something else to talk about. Uh, we can create these titles. Kingdom. Of Kislev. Right, Next kingdom. There we go. Of a uh, Translink. Cool. We can now found an empire. We are now the empire of Bolasgrad. We are very ugly looking as an empire. But we have all the kingdoms. Our vassals don't seem to care that we have multiple kingdoms. Okay. Interesting. Why don't they care? Wait a couple of things. Long reign's no longer affecting us because it's a new title. They should care that we have multiple kingdoms. Um, maybe they have to be higher rank? You desire Grand County. Yeah, okay, so they desire the Grand Counties and things, but... What do we want to hold as our uh, one? We can hold Bolasgrad, uh, which is this. Uh, I think we hold Bolasgrad. I almost want to give Bolasgrad away just because it's awkwardly placed. Or other options. We can hold this one right here, uh, Translink, which is, it's all right. It's reasonably well together. Or we can hold uh, Kislev. Yeah, I think we hold tr Translink, this one right here. I think this is probably the best one for us right now. And then we give away Bullsgrad and Kislev. So, which one do you... We'll find uh, people who actually like us. You kind of like us. You would like uh, the Grand County of Bolasgrad. Well, you know what? It's your lucky day. Wait, we can't give it away? Huh. Wait, we have no titles that he can hold. We give him a duchy, but we can't give him kingdoms? Do we have to hold three? I don't remember us having to hold three. Uh, how about you? You want control of the county of uh, Rat Ratov. Do you not have control of the county of Ratov? Do, do I actually own it directly? Um, I don't know how I can help you with this. Yeah, I don't know how I can help you with this. I could potentially give you a kingdom. Can I just not give a kingdom to these people? Interesting. Uh, maybe I don't understand the kingdom mechanics? 
Do I need to just give the kingdom to someone new if I want to give it away? Like, say, this guy? Could I grant him... I can't, yeah, I guess maybe I just can't give the kingdoms away? Interesting. Um, that's unusual. Oh well, we can hold three kingdoms if we need to, but I, I actually quite like having king, like powerful kings underneath me as my strategy. Um, I was just letting the game run forward a couple of months. No, just can't give kingdoms away apparently. Uh, your liege. Nope, not even have wanted to. Interesting. Well, this seems like a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. Next time, uh, well, we'll do some more conquests. See you then. Goodbye.